What's up YouTube? Today I have for you guys the longly anticipated video which is my room tour. So come on in and join me for a preview of my casa which equals the bachelor pad. Come on in guys. Okay so this is the first part of my room. But before I start doing the uh, room tour, I wanted to say this is like five hours from when I originally planned to film the room tour because when I filmed it over there at the entrance, it was like five hours ago. But what had happened was that I had set up my lamps, I was ready to film and everything, and then like I turn around and I hear like a loud crash and then like my light bulb like completely broke. It was like this big and it was just like shattered all over and I went to church and then like I went to Walmart to pick something up. So now I'm continuing with the room tour. I have to go buy some more light bulb because they weren't even mine in the first place but anyways here's the first part of my room now as everybody can pretty much see when they first walk in that painting just is eye popping it's amazing and it's a great addition to my room now the story behind that painting is that my uncle's an artist and basically he has his uh, artwork in like museums and he owns an art studio and stuff like that and that painting is actually worth about two thousand dollars but it was my birthday last year and he's like well hey I don't have anywhere to store this painting so can I just put it in your room and I was like oh yeah sure I would love that so then the next piece that you probably do see is my couch now my couch what had happened with the couch is that my aunt was actually gonna throw it away because it was her couch for the living room and my grandma was like no, no no give it to Tim so she actually blessed me with that couch and right here it's a great addition to my room it's better than having a big bed because I actually just crash out on the couch sometimes but it's cool when I have my friends over and stuff like that. I got my spares on the wall, and then I got my hat right there. Um, over here, over here I have my skateboard, and I don't really skate anymore as much as I used to. I got this DGK board for my birthday like two years ago, but I used to skateboard, and I don't really do it anymore. But yeah, there's my DGK board. Um, now to continue on with the rest of the room. Also, the picture right there is a picture of my uncle, the artist. And uh, basically, he was in a Pepsi commercial. They just asked him, hey, you want to be in a Pepsi commercial? So I framed it and I stuck it on my wall because I thought it was cool. So let's begin with the next part of my room. Continuing on to the next part of my room, you can see that this is basically like my bed area and the rest of my sofa. I also have some sports memorabilia on the wall. I got that big Spurs poster, my grandpa. He got it from the flea market. I think some guy was making him or something like that, but you can't find him anymore because I think that he stopped making them. But you got Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili right there. And it says anyone else wants some. Great addition to my room because I love the Spurs. They are the champs and they are number one. Also, as you can see, we got the Spurs uh, Western Conference Finals. That was before they won the championship this year. And it was on sale at Walmart for like three bucks. So I was like, hey, they're really the champions. But that would still be cool to put in my room. So I got that and I put it in my room. And then I got some uh, UTSA flag right there that I got in from a program that I used to be in. And then right here is my bed. But I really, I usually don't sleep on my bed. See, my bed's more firm and my couch is more like, like, uh bouncy I guess if you want to call it that but my couch is more like uh, not as firm it's more comfortable so sometimes I feel like sleeping on my couch but then sometimes I want something firmer so I sleep on my bed so I kind of go back and forth between the two but right now I'm just sleeping on my couch but I'm actually trying to get a Mac right now and once I do get the Mac I'm probably gonna put a desk right here with the Mac on top and just get rid of my bed but yeah and then you got my my MacBook right there and uh, charge my phone right there you got my Bible on my couch and that's pretty much it from this side of the room let's move on to this side of the room Coming to the third part of my room, I'm basically going to get closer so that way you can, guys can see like the close up. But basically the overall review is that this is basically my gaming area. I got my PS4, my flat screen TV, and my PS4 games right there. And then over here I got my hats with like my cologne and stuff like that on there. So now I'm going to get closer so you guys can see and I can give you all like a detailed like look at the stuff that I have. Right, so right here guys, we have two poster boards of, it's basically like nature. I found this on sale at the bookstore, so I decided to get them for my room. I thought it brought like a real artsy feel to my room. So I got, they are done by Ansel Adams. I'm not sure who they, that is. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Ansel, Ansel, Ansel. The first one is Mount McKinney and the Wonder Lake. And then the second one is just a clear photograph of the woods. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys so you can see those shots right now. 
Okay, for all y'all gamers out there, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got to offer for my gaming setup. 36, 32 inch, I forgot which one it was, but I got it on sale for like 150 or something like that. This was years ago. I already got an update and get a new TV, but so far right here on the PS4 games, we got GTA, we got Watch Dogs, and we also got Destiny. Watch Dogs, I'm actually borrowing from my friend. I also have Infamous on my PS4. Okay, so I turned on my PS4 right now for you guys. Go add me at Tim the Actor on PlayStation. I will accept a friend request and maybe we could game up. See, I got a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. My friend's borrowing it right now. Uh, my boy Tim bought that one for me. We got Injustice. It was a free download. I got Minecraft. And then I got, I have 2K15, but I actually suck at sports game. And I did not make any team in the NBA. Can you believe that? No team accepted me in the NBA League. I also got Infamous Second Son. That is an amazing game. Great gameplay and everything like that. So check it out. Uh, right here I got a few chocolates left from my brother's Christmas gift. I think I'll eat one about now when I turn off the camera. But aside from that, you just got the PS4 right here. I got my backpack as well that I got from Paxson. A steal. Go check out one of my videos if you want to see it. This backpack I got for only 25 bucks, but it's for school right now. But since it's winter break right now, I'm not using it. So yeah, that is my gaming setup. Okay, so next up on the room tour, we have this corner of my room, and I got my fan right here. You gotta stay cool at night. And uh, I got a few hats right here. I don't really rock snapbacks anymore, but I got this Andy Minios here for sale. I'll probably do like a hat collection video later on today. I got the hat from the Diamond Supply Mystery Box. Just a few hats where I usually store my hats. Thrifted, uh, I got my <laughs> high fashion hat right here from Paxson. I haven't rocked this yet, I'm kinda scared to. But we'll see about that. Got my Spurs beanie. And then in here I have like a bunch of junk in here in this basket right here. Um, let me give you an example. See like this right here. It's a lightning cable and like what's in here? Just papers. I don't even need this. I'm going to throw this in my trash can right there. What was my snapback doing in there? Yeah, but in this I usually have like nothing but junk. Like I got a lint roller right here. Pretty dirty right there. But yeah, that is uh, down there. I got my cookies. These are like the best cookies that I've ever tasted. They're from the um, Christmas gift that my little sister got me. And then I got a couple more beanies down here. I got some cologne up here. I got that Axe piece right there. Check it out. I got that Adidas Energy right there. I got that Old Spice right there. I got that uh, Black Extreme right there. And then I got the uh, cologne that those guys will sell you at the mall and this one's probably my favorite I gotta go for a refill soon be careful because they'll try to overprice you they wanted 10 bucks but I ended up leaving for this with uh, five bucks so yeah and then after that I just got like my trash can right here but yeah this is that does it for this corner of the room oh yeah I know this is gonna get a little bit too personal but I use speed stick deodorant so if any of y'all want to send me something in the mail a little something special a little cleanliness uh, I use speed stick thanks guys <laughs> oh yeah I forgot about my wall so this right here is, uh, I'm really proud of this right here. I know pride's a sin, so I really shouldn't have pride, but take away that pride. I have no pride in this, but I am very happy that I got this award. So right there, as you can see, it says Tim the Actor right there. Production, the reality of hell. That is the production that I was in in my church, and I was the main character. And then right there, it has uh, the director, Bree. And then November 15, 2014, I won the Best Actor Award, and I was really, really happy to get this all glory to God because it was all for him, and I just give the glory to him. So yeah, I just stick it on my wall right there. Hopefully it won't fall down. And then this right here, 100 or 10 ways to survive in a zombie apocalypse. Back when I was in high school, I wanted to do a thing where I would hang up all my productions that I was in on the walls. So I got one of those right here that was around Christmas time. I mean, Christmas. That was around Halloween time last year. But now that I'm not in high school anymore, that I'm in college, I really don't care about this. So I should probably just tear this down. That just fell. Also guys, back when I was in high school around freshman year, I, I, I um wore some Toms. So right there, I got my Tom sign up right here. It's a real good addition to my room, I guess. I don't know, I really don't rock Toms anymore, so it really doesn't matter, but yeah.
into the fourth wall and final wall of my room. As you can see, this is where I have all my sneaker heat right here. And then uh, over there is just my closet. But basically, I want to call this the wall of sneakers. I mean, I have all of my sneakers on here. You got the LeBron 10 Area 72 uh, Galaxies. You got the GMP 7s right here. You got the Timberlands that I got from the factory store. And basically, I just put all these on the shelf. And then up here, I have my uh, shoes that I display on the wall. And right here, some of the shoes that I have here are available for sale, and then the rest are just some that are rock, you know. I heard from my friend Devin, he says, um, a real sneakerhead doesn't just stick to Jordans, because that would be considered a hype beast. But a real sneakerhead will rock anything, for, like me, I rock anything from Timberlands to Toms. I know, I mean, that's what it's really about if you're really a sneakerhead. You don't just stick to one thing, you can rock LeBrons, you can rock Katie's, you can rock Jordans, it doesn't matter. But a real sneakerhead just rocks that, that's what I'm saying. But anyways, yeah, here's my wall of sneakers. I'm gonna go ahead and show that off for you guys. So I know that was the final wall of my room, but I'm actually going to give you guys a preview of my closet. It might be a little messy, so uh, just be a little careful in there. But without further ado, let's get into my closet. Come on in. So it's not really a walk-in closet, so I can't really walk in. But uh, we got some shoe boxes up there, the ones that I really don't use. We got my Yeezy Customs that turned out to be a fail. Some Chucks that I don't really wear anymore. My PS4 box, Timberland box, my Van box, and my uh, OG Spazikes right there from 2007. And then we got all my coats, all my shirts, all my uh, tops. We got uh, pants and stuff like that in the bins, folded up. We got my dirty clothes. And then over here, we have a couple more shoes. Not really heat. So going down in there, we got my Toms. We got my old Sperry's that I did not wear socks with. So the interior is already like tearing up. We got my church shoes right there. My old running shoes back when I didn't have any style. We got my Levi's right there that I got from Ross like seventh grade, but they still fit me. But I didn't want to pay full price for bands. We got my uh, Nike slides, my Jordan slides that I thrifted for $2. We got my Chonkalas that I got in Corpus a couple years back. Texas Longhorn sandals that I got. Just some green ones that my mom got me. And then some girl vans that I thought were guys. And I thrifted them. That was my, like my first thrift pickup ever. But yeah, there is my closet. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching my room tour. I know it was highly anticipated. And I finally brought you that room tour. I have been wanting to bring it to you forever. But first, I didn't want to clean my room. And I was kind of being lazy about it. But then the light bulbs broke. So that set me back and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, thanks for checking out my room tour. Make sure to check me out on Twitter. I mean, Instagram and Snapchat first at Tim the Actor. And also, you know what? Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter. I'll probably follow back if you tell me that you're from YouTube. I'll give you a follow back on Twitter at Tim underscore the actor because somebody took Tim the Actor already. And I want to start making vlogs on YouTube. I already made an account called Tim the Actor, but I'm not really sure when I'm going to make my first vlog. Maybe I'll make it right now. Maybe I'll make my first vlog right now. Who knows? But anyways, if I do, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to the video after this if I do decide to make the video. But thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my room. I know that everybody wanted me to make like um, a sneaker collection video. But honestly, in my opinion, I really don't have that many sneakers, like compared to like some big YouTubers like Bullet RC or DB. But I think I have a good amount, but I want to collect more before I actually show you guys what I have. So maybe once I reach like 20K or if I even reach 100K, maybe I'll surprise you guys with that kind of video. But anyways, thanks for all the love and support, guys. I really appreciate you. You guys are the reasons why I'm still going. You guys are the reason that motivate me and that keep me going to making the videos those comments on Instagram I see you out there and I appreciate that a thrifting video will be coming soon 
and I just appreciate it all. Tell me what you guys want to see more of down below, and I'll hit you up, and I'll make another video for that. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, homies.